All right, let's uh, take a look this morning. We have shower and storms moving generally away from us. We, I still need to keep a small window near Tulsa uh, and Southern Hills for the next hour, hour and a half or something that could flare back up. But the stronger storms are mostly now east of us. 74 right now, Tulsa. This afternoon, we're going to roll right back up to 91. And it will be a muggy day. And it's going to be a breezy, kind of windy day. South winds at 15 to 30 miles per hour. So the storms are just about finished with us. Here's Tulsa County. This is Tulsa Hills, which is right up 75. And Southern Hills is not too far away. It's just a little bit to the east. Uh, of course, we track showers and storms here at the News on 6. So uh, Bartlesville, I've got you covered right now with Bob Roloff, even though the stronger storms have already left, there's still a little forcing to the west, so we're going to make sure that nothing flares right back up. So Bob is near the Bartlesville area. Uh, Vaughn Caster is near Muskogee, and he is watching just to the south because there's some pretty strong storms to the south developing out of Pittsburgh County. And then the stronger storms we have, these are the ones that move through the metro at about 4.30 to 5 this morning. These are producing 50 and 50 mile per hour winds uh, located from Chautauqua to Welch, now exiting Veneta. Veneta's been pretty you know rough the last two days with weather on a morning basis and that's all the way down to Spavinol so if you're ahead of this from Jay to Grove to Miami to Fairland uh, that's where that storm is moving JD McManus is still in most of the storm activity JD give me a quick update I know you're just a little bit north northeast of the now uh, we yeah. met so uh, yeah from, from what I can tell the winds have kind of subsided a little bit uh, the last strong winds I encountered were about 45 miles an hour. No hell to speak of. There is very heavy rain within those cores and uh, just, you know, slow travel. Back to you, Alan. All right, J.D., appreciate it. And a little bit of hell core just to the south of Welch, a little bit north-northwest of Blue Jacket. Now to the south, so here's Vaughn parked uh, near the Muskogee area, watching these storms just to the south. These are moving east. They've slowed down a little bit. Highway 270, Wilburton, that's moving in your direction pretty quickly here. That's some heavy thunderstorm activity. A little bit of small hail, gusty winds. Those are also below severe weather criteria. Tulsa, between the 7 and 8 o'clock hour, our probability should be gone. Uh, 78 at 10 o'clock, 85 at noon. South winds picking up. Heat index at 88. High today is going to be near 90. We'll be in the 80s tonight through the 7, 8, and 9 o'clock hour. Now, early tomorrow morning, on the Kansas State line area, small chance for a shower storm. We get into Friday night late, storm chances that could be severe. Now, we're going to keep a probability for the first part of Saturday morning. The front is slowing down. That's going to push through Friday. This is the severe weather risk assessment. Could storms be strong to severe Friday afternoon, Friday evening? We have a very low probability for that in the metro, a higher chance in south central Oklahoma. This front is going to crawl through the area by late Friday afternoon and evening. Storms will try to develop near and south of us. Temperatures right now in the 70s with a southwest breeze. 70 downtown and 70 at Southern Hills. It's going to be a muggy morning. 68 in Stillwater, 72 in Muskogee, 75 in McAllister. And high temperatures today, 91 Tulsa, 90 Muskogee, 88 Veneta, 94 Pawnee. Heat index values mid to upper 90s in spots. Tomorrow morning, temperatures will be in the 70s for lows. Daytime highs tomorrow anticipated to be back into the mid 80s. Then we have the storm chance. And by the way, it's going to be breezy today and windy tomorrow. So our probability this morning is going to go away pretty quickly. Now, a quick word about Friday night. A couple of showers and storms could linger into Saturday. Notice that we have inverted these temperatures. That means Saturday morning, we may still start in the 70s for the very first part of the tournament here and then the front finally pushes through the north winds kick in the temperatures start to drop you talk about changing weather conditions and then sunday morning 49 to 50 the afternoon high 68 it's going to cool down storm chances saturday evening in southeastern oklahoma may still be strong too severe